In this level, we have to find the build version of PowerShell that is on the server we connected to in level one. Like every other master level engineer, I'm gonna go ahead and start off in Google because what the hell is a build version and why are we talking about it? Like I did in the Over the Wire series, I'm including all of the how did you figure that out steps because really that's what a CTF is for. Not only should you be learning PowerShell in the CTF, but you should be learning where to find good information when you don't know the answer. As I was going through the potential commands to run, I was skimming the output as shown in the black boxes until I found one that literally says build version. I found that here with PS version table. And as you can see, PS version table yields some really juicy info, but most importantly, it gives us a build version that includes a potential flag in the format we need. I copied the build version, then exited my session, which returns me to the MOBA command line. Once here, I use the up arrow to get the last command run, then update the username and send it. Then I paste in the build version as the password for the new connection. This gets us access to Century 2. 